I got hooked on Fist of the North Star when I was a teenager. I found a copy of the OVA on VHS and I watched it until the tape broke. This led me to North Star video games during the 8 and 16-bit era, of course they weren't called that here in America, and then back to it again during the PS3 era for Tecmo Koi's take on the series, which were fun but pretty repetitive, which their Muso games are known for. So when I first heard about Lost Paradise, I thought it was another Tecmo Koi Muso reskin like their previous Fist games, or Hyrule Warriors, or Berserk. Instead, I found out that it was coming from Sega, and they were reskinning too. Only this time, instead of a Dynasty Warriors reskin, Sega reskinned Yakuza. Yeah, Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise is a Yakuza game with a Fist reskin. Aside from tweaks to the combat, it plays exactly like a Yakuza game. And you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Even if you've never played a Yakuza game before in your life. The story takes place in the middle of the original series as Kinshiro is moving through the wasteland searching for Shin, who has captured his girlfriend Yuria. But the plot is similar to the new Fist of the North Star three-part OVA that came out in 2003. Ken comes across a hidden city named Eden, which has an abundance of water and power provided by a large dome at its peak. But there's other things going on, and it's up to Ken to figure out the mystery while also tracking down clues to Yuria's location. If you're a fan of the manga, or any of the various shows or OVAs, the story will feel like putting on a pair of comfortable old shoes. It's fun, but it does borrow here and there from the older works. The music feels like it's right out of the anime series and OVAs. Lots of heavy guitar riffs and bombacity. No complaints here at all. Same with the voice acting. There's some real fun performances here. Sound effects, especially the punches and whooshes and Ken's infamous battle cry, are all as perfect as it could possibly get. Graphics wise, it's Yakuza with a fist makeover. The characters have a modern Yakuza level of detail, but the designs are pure fist. Same with the environment. The city looks like something right out of Mad Max Fury Road, which most of Fist resembles really, so again, they nailed the design. The frame rate stays fairly steady, the action only slowing down for slow-mo effects to add to the badassery on display. Gameplay wise, it's Yakuza through and through, but with tweaks to make the combat feel more like Fist. If you're not familiar with the manga or anime, Kinshiro is a master in Hokuto Shinken a form of martial arts that focuses on channeling power through pressure points throughout the body. So in short, Kenshiro knows where to poke you with his thumb and make your spine explode out your ass. He can also hit you with a thousand rapid fire punches to numerous pressure points at once, which causes your brains to explode out the top of your skull. And yes, this is shown in exquisite detail in this game. So the combat is not for the squeamish. There is gore galore here with numerous special attacks to unlock that escalates the carnage to a gloriously over-the-top degree. And again, just like Yakuza, you have lots of side missions and mini-games to break up the combat. There's a casino-type area, of course. You can work as a bartender, take part in races, and later on you can hop in a dune buggy and go exploring the desert beyond the city where you can find unlocks for various classic Sega games like Space Harrier and even the Fist of the North Star Sega Master System game that was released here in the States under the name Black Belt. The combat can get a little repetitive after a while due to the amount of grinding you have to do to earn new attacks and there's a few story elements that seem to drag on longer than they really need to but it doesn't detract much from the overall experience. You don't have to be a fan of both Yakuza and Fist of the North Star to enjoy the hell out of this game. You can be a fan of both, one or the other, or neither, and still come away from the game with a big smile on your face. It's a perfect mix of gory hand-to-hand -hand combat, RPG elements, story, and typical Japanese minigame silliness that will keep you invested to the very end. Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise gets a 6 out of 7. Hey there, how'd you like this video? Drop me a comment and let me know. 
While you're at it, toss this video a like, why don't you? If you're not subscribed, please do. Don't forget to click the bell so you're notified every time I upload. You can follow me on Twitter, links in the description. If you want to chat with me live, the 7th cast is held on Twitch every Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. Central Time. Link is also in the description. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is 7th.